Okay guys, welcome back to Worldwide Wonders and today I wanted to make my first video with audio. I'm extremely nervous since, uh, you know, I'm afraid that this isn't going to sound as good as I would like it to. But anyway, let's continue. So today I wanted to show how to use the Toolbox mod in Hearts of Iron 4. It's an extremely good mod if you want to use custom scenarios or even improve the game speed if you have a bad CPU. So, how to bring up the menu? You have to press on this arrow or the hotkey Ctrl T. So, the state managing tool is uh, the basics of this mod. You select on state, you mark it, and then you can do different things with it. So, I just want to transfer it to Germany. Now I have the Sudetenland, but uh, as you can see, I don't have cores. So we want to add a course, we have to select the state and add a core. And now we have cores. The country annexing tool is like the bigger and better version of the state managing tool. So instead of moving individual states, this moves entire country. So uh, let's just select Poland, annex, and uh, we want cores. And we want their navy and we want their army. And then we just select on our country and uh, click on transfer. Now the Soviets have the Polish army as well as the Polish navy. Okay, now we are in the Estados Unidos and we are going to be puppeting. Let's just select on uh, Colombia and Venezuela. And select on the United States. We want them to be uh, integrated puppets. The Philippines to be free. Easy. Oh well, come to France, and we are going to be using the political tool here to show and demonstrate what it does. You can increase fascism, fascism, communism, or democracy popularity from here. And then you want them to make be the ruling party. Quite easy or you want the fascists to be the ruling party with elections, of course. That's possible. On page two, we have diplomacy. Hate these guarantees, which Czechoslovakia and Romania and you enforce in the Balkans. Cancel them like this. Now you're free to form Austria-Hungary as uh, Hungary without the possibility of French or uh, you know, uh, a Romanian intervention. Want to form a Hungarian alliance, let's say the Central Powers. That's possible. Disband the Axis. That's possible. Or want to disband all alliances. That's possible. You want a civil war in, uh, in France. You can press on this, which makes the, um, I think, the second largest party rebel. Or you can just use the shift C and designate the uprising you want. So let's say a democratic uprising as in fascist France. Okay, now we are in Turkey, eh? And um, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the division spawning tool. Select the infantry or mechanized or armor you want the combat with. It only goes up to 20 and then how many divisions you want to spawn. Three veteran divisions. Keep in mind this does not add the equipment, so you're going to be in a deficit. Skip spawning tool. Click on a country. Select the place where you want the ships to spawn. So the uh, Mediterranean. Then select the kind of ships that you want. Select if you want convoys. And then the amount of ships that you want. So let's just say we want uh, about 200 ships actually, spawned way more than 200 ships. We have a thousand ships as Turkey. This is naval Turkey. Keep in mind, it does like the shit out of the game when you go to the naval screen. And it spawns them all in indifferent, so you have to merge them by doing this. It's so painful. Don't click on that button too many times. Now we are in Saudi Arabia to demonstrate the building spawning tool. So, you know the instant construction command you can instantly construct, let's say, forts like this. It instantly constructs them. But you want all of Saudi Arabia to have forts. It's so tedious to, you know, click on every single tile. So um, you can just select all states and then scroll down to forts and click on max. 
it adds maximum forts in every single tile. Works for any country. Like max level forts in Germany. Oh, we can't see them. There they are. So on this arrow, it goes to the second page, and from here you can select uh, manpower. So we want uh, Saudi Arabia to have uh, about 10 million manpower. That's easy to do. We want uh, to have the state of Nejed have 200 million people living in it. I just bam this button a couple of times and let the game run for one day. Nigeria has 40 million people. Anyway, you all know that Saudi Arabia has a ton of... Uh, a ton of um, resources, but it doesn't really... Uh, whoa, actually Saudi Arabia has sh shit. Saudi Arabia has no fucking oil. Anyway, let's just add a bunch more oil to Saudi Arabia. Let the game run for one day. We have a shit ton of oil. We want uh, chromium, tungsten, all the other resources in Saudi Arabia. That is not overpowered at all. <laughs> Level 10 of words plus <laughs> unlimited. Look, look how... Oh, that is how to use the toolbox mod. Hopefully you learned something.